Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Sunday. It's Daryl here. It is 7 a.m. now here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I was in the middle of my workout and I'm still thinking about the last video I made. Uh, I want you guys to know I don't just make these videos for the hell of it, just for something to put out, throw out there, and then just walk away. These videos, these com your comments stay in my mind all day long. Uh, to to crazy, I, I I I have an obsessive compulsive personality. That's that's the part of the reason that I have to pick certain times to read you guys' comments because I will just obsess about your comments for hours or days. I'll try to be a little more interpersonal with you guys too. I want to answer your comments more and interact with you guys more. That being said, that's kind of what this video is about. I want your ideas and opinions about what I, what I'm just going to talk about. I'm not saying I'm right or wrong. I'm just I want I want to sh share what I read online, and some thoughts about it, okay? It was on the Black Lives Matter, I believe it was a Facebook group, uh, Black Lives Matter Cincinnati group, I think, or it might have been Atlanta, but I think it was Cincinnati group, and, okay, I'll try to explain it to you guys. There was all different uh, conversations going on, and I believe there was one person commenting, and this was, it was, it was, it caught my attention, this person was saying, I don't know if this person, if what, what uh, nationality, what race this person was. They were saying that it would probably be better for the black community if white people got more into claiming white pride. In that, it would help them have pride in their own ethnicity and understand the struggles of black pride and Black Lives Matter. And... Only then would be truly equal. Okay? So at first glance, this, this appears kind of racist to me. You know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, give it some, give it some thought. Does it make sense? Next person saw some comments down. A person commented, why include the color of the skin at all? If... if like they started talking about St. Patrick's Day and Irish people being proud of their Irish heritage and how there's nothing wrong. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's a, it's a good thing, I think. Um, who knows? Maybe in 50 or 100 years, we'll look back and say that we're all human beings until we realize that, until we stop making these 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 uh, differences between us. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a good thing or not. But anyway, so this person claims that it's claiming the color. If you take the color out of it, it'd be better. You know, instead of a white pride, why not Irish American pride or Native American pride or Italian American pride? So I thought about that. And that, that kind of made a little sense to me. So I started thinking about black pride and Black Lives Matter. Because I always agreed with that. I'm a supporter of Black Lives Matter. So I started thinking, would it be better? Would it be more correct? Would it, it would help people? The, 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 the point here is to get people to empathize and understand and look at each other equally. I think that's the, the mission, the point here. So I started thinking about that. Would it have been better, instead of Black Lives Matter, that it was African American Lives Matter or African Lives Matter? Would that be more understandable? Seriously. It's a little too late now. So the first thing that came to my head is there are different, uh, there's, there's people of the, black, of the black race that aren't from Africa. So I, you know, I, I started, this is something I almost started obsessing on. You know, and I started thinking about uh, like the bah Bahama, the Bohemian Islands. You know, how a lot of, uh, a lot of former slaves moved there or... Uh, Oh, what's the uh, country in Africa? Um, I can't remember the name of the country in Africa where the black slaves, re the, the black slaves resettled, the, the former black American slaves resettled. Oh my God, I'm sorry, I can't remember the name of the country. So, but that is African American though still. So that, that's, that point's moot. But I, I was wondering if that would work. If that would have been a better tactic or should we just look at all each other? Obviously, in the best, you know, in a perfect world, we'd all just look at each other as human beings, not Asian, not white, not black, you know. But I, I started to give some thought to this. You know, is it creating more of a problem? 
addressing this by the skin color, you know, because there's obviously a lot of, I'll say Trump supporters or a lot of Caucasian people that have a problem with the Black Lives Matter movement. They feel it's, that it's not including white people, that white people don't matter or something like that. So I started to think about this, you know, and would it have been better if it was African-American lives matter? All lives matter. But see, that's not, I don't agree with the all lives matter thing because this is specifically a problem for the African-American community. Um, for whatever reason, like in this previous video I just did, this 30-year cop, this 30-year veteran, saw this man obviously delivering newspapers in the middle of the night. He claims that he thought he was a porch pirate stealing packages. But this was at 3 in the morning. What packages are being delivered at 3 in the morning? There's no porch pirates out at 3 in the morning. They do this, in the, they do this, at, at, they do this when people are at work. And a 30-year sheriff would know this. That's another bull excuse right there. I truly believe this, this sheriff looked at the color of this man's skin, saw him delivering papers, and still thought he's up to no good. He's trouble. And when the man approached him, he felt scared. He felt intimidated because he was a black man and called for backup. And he even lied to get the, the, his people there quicker because he felt scared and threatened. Obviously, there's a problem. Uh, the way that some Caucasian people view people of different races. And no, and no, no help from Donald Trump in the last four years. No help at all with him calling this the Kung Flu and all this other stuff. Um, just some things to think about. Uh, you know, it's too late now. The Black Lives Matter movement is the Black Lives Matter movement. So there's, you know, it's a moot point. But I was wondering about that. Would it, been, would it have been more helpful? Just the thought, seriously. Uh, it's a serious question. Would it, would it have been more helpful? Would it, would it have brought up more discussion? Would it have brought up more empathy, more more attention from Caucasian people if it was called the African Lives Matter movement. Just a thought. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know. All right. Yeah, you guys have a good Sunday.